Okay. We're talking about ways that we can help our clients to relax through massage. And what we talked about before is, yes, there's lots we can do in every area of the body that will elicit that uh, parasympathetic nervous system response. Okay? We particularly talked about what techniques so far, what we talked about that would be really useful. Vibration. Vibration. Perhaps Holds. Holds would be one that would be very, very useful. It's not the vibration wouldn't at some level relax somebody. It wouldn't be the first thing I would necessarily okay. think about. Yes. Okay. okay. And I would certainly think about anything that uses stroking. How do you feel when somebody continuously strokes your body nice and slowly? Lots of slow and hurrah. How, how does that feel? Relaxing. Relaxing. Yeah, so is that when your clients fall asleep? Generally? Generally, yeah, I mean, they can fall asleep at all sorts of times, but lots of that really slow, soothing stroking is very useful. The other thing about the slow, soothing stroking. Slow rhythmic stroking is really soporific, isn't it? It really slows you down. And generally, anything you do towards the feet has an effect of slowing somebody down. Okay? So any kind of stroking, slow stroking. And she'll shut her eyes, won't she, quite naturally. So, and what did we say before about our own attitude when we're massaging? How do we need to be if we want somebody else to calm? How do we need to be relaxed? We need to be relaxed in our own bodies. We need to have our breathing nice and even and slow. And everything, once we're really in tune with a client, everything we do mirrors as well the other way around. So if we take a deep breath, we generally tend to follow with that kind of thing. So lovely stroking movements. What if you stroke the other way? It's quite stimulating. What does that do? I'm waking up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's a bit like stroking a cat, actually, I think. You know, when you stroke a cat the way that their fur goes, it's all going beautifully. You try and do it the other way, they're soon moving and twitching. And so it's not that you can't stroke upwards, because of course you can. If we've got the arm and we're doing an FRR stroke, we're doing both, aren't we? But to suddenly just stroke one way, if it's towards the head, generally tends to have a more uplifting effect. Just, just, just a little clue for you, okay? Uh, anything else we need to say about that? So hold, stroking, effleurage. Of course, the deeper techniques that we do help to deeply relax the tissues. So there's something to be said for those things. But what we're aiming to do on this session is to really activate that parasympathetic nervous system response. So what areas of the body have the highest, highest concentration of, of sensory nerve endings? Where? Hands. 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 Feet. Hands. Feet. Hands. Feet. Face. Feet. Yeah? So we're gonna we're gonna work on the face, the hands, the feet, we're gonna work on those areas to have the maximum input. And our touch has to be calming, soothing, relaxing. And that's what we're aiming for. Okay? Just shut that for a minute. Um, start again. Okay, I'm trying to do this all in bite-sized chunks.